The News for Jack's team is tracking your concerns from the changes to vacation rentals to the worries of students who say that they still have to go to class during all this. We begin with reporter Eric Avigny tracking the restrictions going into effect at the state line. Governor Ron DeSantis has set up checkpoints for anyone driving from a COVID-19 hotspot, a definition that he recently expanded to include Louisiana. And Eric is joining us now live from the TA Travel Center off I-10 in Baldwin, where Eric, I understand you've been looking for some travelers from Louisiana. Yes, I have been looking, but I did not find any travelers from the Bayou State this deep into Florida along I-10. However, I did run into several travelers from other parts of the country who had mixed reactions to the governor's uh, executive order. Now, as you may already know, the governor is now demanding that all visitors from outside the state who come from COVID-19 hotspots to self-quarantine for a period of 14 days from the time they arrived in Florida. One of those hot spots is Louisiana, where there is now more than 2,700 cases of coronavirus with more than 100 coronavirus deaths. This is why the governor has announced that he is going to establish checkpoints along I-10 in the Florida panhandle near the Alabama border. Travelers we spoke with from other states had just learned about this order when we told them. I mean, luckily we're not from there, I guess. You know, we're coming from Ohio. We're going down to stay with my parents. So we're, I mean, Ohio's pretty bad itself or we're just hoping to kind of get down here and hopefully get away from everything. But do you think that's going to be effective? Do you think that people coming from those states are really going to actually self-quarantine? Uh, I, I don't really know. I, you hope that it's going to be effective, but I, I don't, I don't know. It's a good idea because New York's hit hard. What about New Orleans though, coming in off I-10? I've never really heard much about them, to be honest with you. Of course, only time will tell if that new executive order will, in fact, slow down the spread of COVID-19 here in Florida. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.